It's live with Regis. Today, Dharma and Greg's Thomas Gibson. And Haley from All My Children, Kelly Ripa. Plus, ever thought you were a bit psychic? Char tells us how to use that power. And this six-footing, 530-pound high school senior teaches Regis a thing or two about football. Also, actor Andrew McCarthy. All next on Live. Now, here are Regis Philbin and Kelly Ripa. Hi, everybody. Wednesday, November 1st, 2000. Beautiful day out there in New York City. Look, sun is shining and going to be one of those golden autumn days. And sitting next to me, speaking of golden days, here's Kelly Ripa from All My Aww. Children. Yes. How are you? Kelly, how are you? This is so nice. Such a nice crowd this morning. Well, you play a talk show host, don't you, on I All do. My Children? Yes, Haley Vaughn of Wave, the oh. hottest talk show in Pine Valley. There you go. The only talk show in Pine, <laughs> in Pine Valley. Valley. Yeah. Anyway, kind of hard to beat. Good to see you good again. Good to see you too. Remember Kelly when she started on uh, All My Children to you? It must have been about ten years ago, yeah, right? Yeah, ten years ago. You were the first talk show I did. That's right. It was That's you and Lisa Gibbons. Uh, Kathy Lee had the flu. Yeah, Lisa Gibbons was pinch hitting for her, sure. That's right. And you were you were so. And nice look what it to did me. for the two of them. But what happened to me? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We just we took right off, and you went nowhere. It's <laughs> so sad. Oh, Kelly, so. <laughs> Anyway, you, uh, you're married now. We had uh, you and your husband on That's together, right. right? Not only are they married, but they play a married couple on All My Children as well. It's so scary and weird. <laughs> we, you know, since you had us on last, our characters had just gotten married as we had just gotten married. And That's right. our characters had been divorced and remarried three times to each other since then. Three times? Three times? Yeah. Not even in Pine Valley. Cause no, it's, it's like I said, it's strange and weird. It's a, it's a one talk show town. What can yeah. I tell you? John Consuelos. <laughs> so are you currently married with him on the show? We're, we're married, All yeah. Right, good. His name's Mark, by the way. Oh, Not, I'm sorry. That's okay. You can call him John. I'm sorry, Mark Consuelos. I call him John sometimes, yeah. too. <laughs> but he plays Mateo. He plays Mateo. Yes. Now, did it make a difference when you were um, not married to him on the show at home? It did. He had a big problem with me making out with other co-stars, <laughs> which I don't think is a problem. I thought it was part of the creative process. You're supposed. I, I said, I have to make out with these men. We. I have to. It's it's in my contract. Must make out with hunks. <laughs> he didn't see it that way. Sure, you know. Of he course. was like, I'm your hunk. I said, You're my hunk at home. Yeah. <laughs> On nine to five, my hunk is whoever they write for me. <laughs> I guess uh, that means between 9 and 10, you're looking at your hunk right here. Huh? Huh? That's right. <laughs> now they have a little baby, a little mm -hmm. baby, and um, is it a boy or a girl? A boy, Michael, he's three. Little Michael, yeah. He's three years old now, must have celebrated his first Halloween that he was aware of It was his night. first uh, participatory Halloween where he had a party and he went trick-or-treating and we had a lot of Regis's, Regi. The Regis is mad. The Regis Regi mask. I hate house. that Regis mask. <laughs> well, I don't think it does you justice. Oh, I don't think so either. No, it doesn't Please. make you look. You makes know. me look like Art Moore. I don't. Yeah, care. like what does she look like Art Moore? Uh, what did the baby go as? He was um well it, interesting. We uh, last year he was the Tasmanian Devil, which he loves the Tasmanian <laughs> Devil. He's obsessed. And this year I bought him Scooby Doo dressed as a vampire, and I was Velma because he wanted me to be the ugly one, and my sister got to be Daphne, the pretty one. But he refused to put on his Scooby-Doo costume at all. So he went as Tasmanian Devil again, and then my sister and I looked like crazy prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> and I was the ugly prostitute who really couldn't charge as much. Gee, you know, it, it, it's too bad you didn't take a Polaroid picture or something. I, you know, we did, to... we did, my husband took, um, film on this digital video camera, yeah. but we can't figure out how to unload the, the pictures. Oh, please. I know. I know. Somebody gave me one of those cameras. I, I didn't even get startled. We're either. actors for a reason. We can't, oh, you know. Just Thinking can't do it. is not part of, you know. <laughs> well, Kelly, it's so nice to see you. It's now, look nice how to nice see you Kelly too. has grown up in 10 years. I mean, a little girl came on, right? bang, all my children. 10 years later, here she is married with a 
son, beautiful husband, uh, yeah, or, or a husband and a beautiful son, I guess. <laughs> so, they kind of look alike. They, they really do. Do they? Although some people have said that Michael looks a little bit like you, which I didn't comment on <laughs> at all. I never, I never, you know, I said no, I don't know what uh, you're talking about. Let's not go into that subject. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, there was all kinds of activity in the streets of New York, and I guess all over the country as well. And down, uh, Gilmer, where do they have that parade? Greenwich Village. Yeah, Greenwich yes. Village, of course, is the major Halloween parade. We're going to show you just about 30 seconds of it. Have you seen it yet, Kelly? Take a look no, at some of these faces. Oh, great. There they're going as trains. They went as a little bit of everything last night. Uh, look at this guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh. Where's the Regis man? This guy can't figure out whether he's the bride or the groom. <laughs> That's Dennis Rodman right there. <laughs> Just out of surgery. <laughs> but you Is know, that a costume? Yeah, well, believe it or not, it's a float. It's a float. But it's part of a costume. But, you know, I, I think the people yeah. are totally ingenious when it comes to making their own costume. You know, it's, it's really amazing. And I, I was saying this at work today because you'll enter these, um, these costume competitions that you, you have at all these parties and all these clubs. There's always a costume competition. Mm -hmm. And far and away, the winner is always the makeup artist because they can do you know you see people walk in i'm dressed as velma okay i have a wig and freckles and then you see people with prosthetic horns coming out and they've got another <laughs> face coming out of the side of their head and fangs and so it's not fair i don't i think it unlevels the playing but field. i'm impressed with the people who are able to uh make their think own costumes like and that? think of things like that and get so creative. Yeah, we is... had a little fashion show here yesterday and it knocked me out. I liked your, um, your king. It was... Did you? It was great. Yeah. yeah. Was... Not bad, huh? <laughs> Every year, uh, you know, we're a small, little, humble staff. <laughs> we can hardly get this thing on in the morning, believe me. And yet to go through all of that, and I must say, Gelman, Gelman loves it because Gelman gets a chance to play dress up. And so he just insists on it. So for him, we say, all right, we'll do it again one more year. So I came as a king. Joy came as the queen. That was nice that you let Joy yeah. be the queen. And the guys all knocked themselves out and we had a, a pretty nice set. And then, of course, Art Moore couldn't be here. We wanted Art to be here. So we said, well, I guess Gelman said, put him on tape, right, Gelman? <laughs> we'll roll the tape in, and I will say oh. a set-up line to Art. Hey, Art, where have you been? And Art will say, well, I'm right here. So Art's on tape. I mean, you, you, you saw it yesterday. Uh, hey, Art, where have you been? Two, three, four. <laughs> Camera's still on me. Roll tape, they're yelling upstairs. Hey, press the button. Finally get it done. <laughs> Art jumps on and says, oh, I'm right here. Okay, here we go. Four-second delay. It just, just killed us. Do you love live television? I love live, yeah. You do. Yeah. <laughs> I never want to put Art on tape again. <laughs> but Gelman got to play Prince Valiant. Art took him out of a frog, made, made him into a prince. Very handsome. Very Well, anyway. Well. Uh, <laughs> the wig didn't do you. I'm so used to seeing you in short hair, Gelman. I know. You know, I put on, I went to a... Halloween party last night, and I wore your uh, king costume. Oh, of I course. borrowed it, yeah. yeah. And everyone gave me a lot of compliments. Why did you go as your Prince Valiant character? It was not because as complimentary. He secretly wants to be you. You see what's happening here. <laughs> it's all set in motion. He's waiting. Oh, God, you got a good point there. I'm telling I you, he's waiting that. to just one day. He's sit right sit here. Sit right here. There you go. And Art Moore will sit right there. That's right. And I'll be out. Yeah, a whole different show. <laughs> You'll still have your little millionaire job. It'll be okay. <laughs> Thank you. Kelly uh, Ripper throwing the lines out today. <laughs> Just got through with baseball, and here comes basketball. Oh, Not a good night no, for the Knicks last I night. Know. Fright night. They miss uh, Ewing, you know. Um, what are you going to do? First night playing without him in 15 years. And uh, so the guys did not have a uh, well, good Well, apparently night Patrick night. Ewing didn't do very well either on his new team. I guess they're going to have um, trouble getting acclimated to the new conditions. No, he didn't do well. They're huh? like an old married couple. They can't live with each other and they can't live without each other. Are you talking about Joy and me again? I didn't mean to bring that up. I'm sorry. And Steve <laughs> Allen died. Uh, one of our great uh, pioneers in broadcasting. Did so many things. Did them so well. Played the piano. Funny guy, ad libbed with the best of them. Just a brilliant man, really. And uh, sorry to uh, to hear that he died yesterday yeah. quietly. Just told his grandkids and his son, I guess, that he wanted to go in and lay down for a minute. Was feeling tired. 
And he was at his son's house. Never yeah. woke up. Yeah. yeah. Too bad. All right. Now, we also had a guy, and we're having Supernatural Week, Kelly, all this. Oh. Are you cold? You look like you're cold. No. Like, cold? You all right? No, I'm always cold. I'm always half naked, but I'm not. <laughs> Kelly Ripa on forbid, fire! God I put sleeves on. Not today. Not today for Today we have Char, who is a psychic, and I she's going to do a little reading for you, I, if you don't I mind, if you'd so. like to. I hope so, yeah. I don't want to know any, like, bad things, though. No but, death. I don't want right. to know, like, right. you're going to get hit by a car today. We'll edit, uh, Char, if we can. <laughs> this past Monday, we had psychic John Edward on the show. He's got a show on the Sci-Fi Channel. Mm -hmm. And he connected with several people in the audience, and also with, just by coincidence, with uh, our... Um, what does he do? I'm here, stagehand. St no, he's a, he's a stage. No, he's a head stagehand, though, isn't he? Okay, head is, stagehand. Isn't there a title for that? Head stagehand. Property manager. Property manager. That's what I wanted. Our property manager, Bobby Orsillo. Bobby was standing back there, and all of a sudden, this fellow picked up vibes from him and started talking about his past and, and people in his past who have now moved on. And uh, so we put Bobby on the show. And maybe you saw that show. But in any event, we did a follow-up with the two ladies who were in the audience that talked with John and also with Bobby. And take a look. The, the, the dog that had the, 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 it broke the same leg, or it had something about the dog with the back leg. It was a problem with one of the dog's legs. But they had it twice, or something about. And he mentioned about the dog. And I didn't realize at the time, but my father's dog had died from breaking his back leg. So just know that these are the people that are, that are coming to around you. And they're telling me to talk about either the change of vehicles. They're telling me that there's like this like dilemma about what to do or something with the cars. He mentioned uh, about changing the size of the uh, vehicle, which my middle son that uh, just had the birthday, he mentioned my son had a birthday and my father was wishing him a happy birthday. He just went from a large truck to a small car. You know, he was having a little trouble with the truck, and he went into a smaller car. And I'm feeling like there's something, a very weird A name, very weird name, like Al Almanzo, or... Uh, it's like a weird, it's not like, it's like either an ethnic name, or it's a nickname with an A. As soon as uh, we finished, my mom said that my dad's middle name is Alfonso. After he was gone, she remembered that that's his middle name. Quite a bit, you know. I have chills. Yeah. yeah, people get caught up in the excitement and, and can't remember names or, or places, and sure. then it comes back to them afterwards. And I'm glad that we uh, we got that little follow up. So you want a reading? You're going to get it. Oh boy! From uh, <laughs> from Char today. All right, Gelman. Uh, once he, uh, Gelman uh, thinks he's got something new, and so we do a okay. week of amazing kids. Uh, oh. We don't want to tell him that we did it last year, the year before, the year before that. But but there's new amazing kids every year. He's got, that's right. Exactly. That's the attitude we got to have around here. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for some new amazing kids to help us out. And if you have an amazing kid at home, listen to what Tony Pink has to say. Tony? Live is looking for a few amazing kids. If your child has an incredible talent, we may want them on our show. Send us a two-minute VHS tape highlighting their talent. Send your child's tape to Live's Amazing Kids Week and Sonia Station, Post Office Box 230309, New York, New York, 10023-0309. Your child's tape submission should include name, age, daytime, and evening phone numbers. All submissions become property of Live, and they may be broadcast on the air. For more information on Amazing Kids Week, go to www.liveregis.com. Hey, baby, your amazing kid could be a part of our show. You know, is Art Moore around? He's, he's still out on the street? Oh, come on, bring him in. Art Moore still on the street. Look at him. Yes, roll the tape. Yeah, I think we use that enough, don't you? <laughs> that we did had... something for me, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to shift over two legs. <laughs> we uh, had trouble getting that one started, but once it got on the air, it was just fine. Uh, in a moment, we're going to meet the biggest football player in the know, country let today. Me see this. Still in high school in, uh, over in Roselle Park, New Jersey. There he is, number 66. Gosh. Yeah, wow. he's a big boy. He's 6'8". Six, he's six, over 500 pounds, bigger than any professional football player, and he'll be out here in just a second. But first, we have time for travel trivia. Here we go. Some of the 
the best uh, trips you and your husband and little boy could ever make, uh, I know, Kelly. this is so nice, more than we deserve, that's for sure. <laughs> great, uh, great vacation spots. On the phone right now is Doris Mung from Rougemont, North Carolina. Hi, Doris. Hi, Regis. Say hello to Kelly Ripper. Yeah, hi, Kelly. Hi, hey, Doris. Kelly. Be before you get off, I want to say uh, I used to do a lot of summer theater with uh, Julie Bukite, uh, my son and I, in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Oh, how uh -huh. nice. And tell her hi. Okay. I watch you every day that I can. Oh, thank and you. And I wanted to say you're very handsome, Regis. Oh, she's talking to you. <laughs> no, Regis. no, no, she was talking to you. Yeah, but I'm talking to you, Regis. You're very handsome. Oh, yeah, okay, And you good. keep in good condition. What's that? I think Joy keeps you that way. <laughs> yeah, right, Joy. Joy does. Yeah, <laughs> she's great. Joy was the queen yesterday. I, I know she was. I was kind of turned on by that wig. I wanted her to bring it home. <laughs> Wouldn't you like do long hair. She'll be back on, on Friday, pinch hitting. Uh, good. Pinch hitting she's being very cold. good. She should be your host all the time. Well, yeah, she's wonderful. Don't make Kelly angry. Now. That's all right. Well, well, I mean, Kelly's you're got good a Kelly job too. already. Yeah, that's right. I don't need this place. <laughs> now you did it. Now you made Kelly angry. I hope the question is really hard for you, Doris. <laughs> oh, Kelly, I really love it. I remember when you, when you came on, you had that really black Halloween hair. You remember that? Doris, let's see what you're playing for. Doris, we got that wind jammer. It's a barefoot cruise. Cruise is the Caribbean. You take an extra couple with you. It's for four, and you'll go all through the Caribbean on this wonderful, uh, wonderful wind jammer. Wonderful. Okay. They're great. They're all right, great. Doris. So here we go. Yesterday we had Carmen Electra on the show. Right. Um, she mentioned that in 1997 and 1998 she appeared as a regular on a popular television series. Could you name that series? Oh, shoot. Why don't you give you four options like you do on Millionaire? Yeah. <laughs> that would be I really, weird. We really should. Shouldn't we, Gilman? That's a good that idea. Would be, Do that Doris, would be you have 20 seconds you know, and one guess. Now you're down to 10. Okay. Um, was it a soap opera? You know, I can't, I can't oh, even remember was, the... Uh, all My Children. You know, no. All my children. No, sweetheart. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I can't even think of the name of it either. It was just so quickly said, Gilman. Is that a fair question? Yeah. yeah. I, you know, it, that for people that are over uh, 50, it, yeah. it, it does it helps with that. Uh, would, would help. <laughs> who, 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 who are you saying is over 50? I am. I'm, fif I'm 50 going, I'm 72 going on 50. Oh, oh my gosh. Well. Wonderful. Well, Doris, you're still going to receive a consolation prize. So stay on the line and we'll let you know what that is in just a minute. Okay, Doris, hang on now. Now let's go out to uh, uh, Janesville, Wisconsin. Janet, uh, Christine. Hi, Janet. Good morning, Regis. And Kelly. And Kelly, yes, I love Kelly on all my children. Oh, good. Well, thank you. Yeah. At least somebody does. <laughs> I, you know what? I hope you win. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to, though. Came to us 10 years ago. Hi, Regis. <laughs> Today. <laughs> You're playing for a wind jamba cruise, kiddo. Oh, my gosh. And you have 20 seconds and only one guess, so make yes. it a good one. Ready for the question? Yeah. Carmen Electra on the show yesterday talked about a popular TV series she was on, 1997-1998. What was the name of the series she was talking about? Oh, Regis, I have no idea. I have tons of notes and nothing about a TV show that she was on. I can't got... think of it either. She just mentioned it yesterday. I know she talked about doing a new TV pilot, but I can't remember. Yeah. Take one guess. I have no idea. Um, I have no idea. Just oh, guess. Too bad. <laughs> I am so well, disappointed. <laughs> well, you know what it was? It was Baywatch. Oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, oh, yeah. Janet. You and Doris and a lucky member of our studio audience will receive a $250 gift certificate to J&R Music and Computer World. Oh, great. So please pick a number between 1 and 110. Um, I'm going to pick 16 because I was born on the 16th with Kathy Lee. Kelly, <laughs> come over here. Where do you want us to go, Gilman? Uh, about two feet over and you're Two regret. feet over here? That's perfect. Is right there, there light over here? Yes, there is. I don't feel any light. Okay, don't put it on. You want to switch with me? No, no, oh, no, wait. no, no. Oh, wait. Oh, look. Oh, this is a nice this studio. They turn up the light for you. All right. 
All right, we're going to bring out this young man now who's getting a lot of attention in the newspapers. He's the high school football player from Roselle Park, New Jersey. He weighs well over 100 pounds, bigger than any man in the NFL. We decided to meet him for ourselves. Here he is from Roselle Park Panthers, number 66, Randy Nunes. Rennie's coach, John Wagner, is in the audience. He's also the assistant principal of the school. Where are you, coach? Right there he is, oh, right over there. Hi. Say hello to Coach Wagner. <laughs> what position do you play, Rennie? Uh, offense and defensive tackle. Uh-huh. Offensive and defensive tackle. So when the other uh, team sees you coming, what happens? Do they run, <laughs> quake, faint, what? Uh, they either run around me or try and triple team me, do whatever it takes. I'll bet they yeah. do triple team you, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, uh, how much do you weigh exactly? Uh, 530 pounds. 530 wow. pounds. Wow. The biggest guy in the NFL weighs 380, a big tackle on the Detroit Lions. And you're how tall? Uh, six foot eight. My nurse got me a six ten, but I'm thinking I'm six eight. Yeah. Wow. Okay, fine. So, have you heard from any colleges yet? Uh, yeah, actually, last night I got a call from Arkansas University. They're offering a free official visit to go visit their campus. Nice to you. Wonderful. What year are you in? Tonight? I'm a senior. You, oh, you are a senior, yep. so this is it. And is this your, your goal is to be a professional football uh, no, player? No, actually, I'd rather go into computer science if I don't make the professional. Oh, but... you're so smart. <laughs> yeah. Smart and a size 17 shoe. <laughs> <laughs> he was always the biggest kid in his class, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, um, uh, how's the season coming along for the Roselle Park Panthers? Oh, uh, we're doing great. We're five and two. We just got a playoff berth for the states. Are you the team the captain, the MVP? No, nah, I'm just a. Uh, just the big, the whole, just yeah. the big man on campus. <laughs> yeah. What would happen, uh, Coach, if you let uh, him do a thing like the fridge did years ago for the Bears? Give him the ball, let him ram through the line. And we've talked about that a few times in practice, and we've done it before, so we might have another opportunity, hopefully, in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I think that might be fun. Interesting <laughs> to see, anyway. Well, now, here's Rennie as a, oh, a little look. baby. You think you've got the only baby in the world? No, no, no look, look at this. beautiful. Oh. Very nice, right there. How big were you at birth? Were you a baby? Uh, nine pounds, 11 ounces, wow. 22 inches. There you go. But now, look, here's Rennie in the, what, the fifth grade? <gasps> Is that you there? Yeah. I thought beginning... that was a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> He's beginning to jump up. Here he is, the biggest guy on the uh, baseball team. That's so amazing. Again, you can see that he's always been a big boy. All the longer. All right, and finally, there he wow. is right there. Outstanding. All right, fine. So now, realistically, are you too heavy to play, like, for the pros or even in college? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Speed is very important. Oh, yes. Uh, so if you drop some weight, naturally, you'll be even faster. Mm -hmm. I'm um, going to be working with uh, Mr. Joe Garofalo, uh, over at the Pyramid Gym in Rawway, New Jersey. He's going to be helping me out with training and getting me faster and less uh, weight. Well, Renny, I, I think it's uh, terrific that uh, you're making all the headlines all over the, all over the country. You want to show us how you operate on a sled? Sure. Come on, oh. we'll, we'll get on the sled. Are we going to go on the yeah. sled? And he what, pushes us? He's going to push us, <laughs> Oh, yeah. dear. Come on. Why do I have to go first? Yeah. <laughs> Still ahead on live, Supernatural Week continues with the psychic Shar, actor Andrew McCarthy, and coming up next, actor Thomas Gibson. We're going to have a Growing Pains reunion. Alan Thick, Kurt Cameron, uh, uh, Chelsea Noble, and Tracy Gold will be here. Remember that show? It was a big hit. Big hit. And Supernatural Week continues with psychic Sylvia Brown. Yeah, Sylvia Brown. And we'll also have the Men of the Year for the GQ Awards. Claudia Cohen will have that. And Cheryl Ladd will be our co-host. Oh, how nice. Cheryl Ladd on Broadway right now. 
All right, our first guest, Thomas Gibson, well known to television audiences from his hit show, Dharma and Greg, also a star of the big screen in his new movie called Stardom. He plays a super agent here as a super guy, Thomas Gibson. <laughs> So how you doing? That was quite an entrance you Thank made. You it was so intimidating. I was yeah. afraid for Yeah, we were scared to death. <laughs> I'm packing 520. Oh <laughs> nice to see you. So, Mr. Big Shot, moving on to the big screen, huh? Sure. Uh, you know, any, any, any time anybody wants me to come work, I'll come work. Well, why you know not? What I mean? Why not? Absolutely. You started as a, a little guy on, uh, on the it, stage. It went, yeah, went to school right around the corner here at Juilliard and uh, worked a lot in the theater in New York and then, uh, you know, did dabbled in the other stuff. Sure. But really, you know, as a kid, was a stage actor. And uh, What was your very first role, do you recall? First thing you did as a kid? Very first thing I did involved not speaking at all but making monkey noises. And I monkey guess noises. I was the guy who made the best monkey noises I played little Johnny who had run away to join the circus and of course he joined the evil sir well it's an enchanted circus run by an evil ring master well, you and remember the whole plot I do yeah. I do, and do I you remember, remember can you make a monkey noise for me now uh, come on you got it and you do it I have a 16 month old son of course oh, I got of course it. You yeah, can. You know, it's, um, but uh, but uh, but but anyway um, I uh, I, I, I did, uh, Jeffrey Kalinske and I went head to head, I think, uh, over getting the monkey part. And uh, for some reason, I just kind of, See? I went oop, 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 a little bit better than and you could. And you got it. Beat out Jeffrey Kalinske. So then I, uh, the, the, the little boy, he does change back into, uh, from the, the evil monkey into the little boy at the end of the play. So my one line was, was I was very nervous about my one line. Mm. And I managed to sort of, you know, squeeze it out every every. Every weekend. And in, in between that and becoming a major, major, star. major star, you did all kinds of things. Worked yeah. at a car wash? I did. I worked at a car wash. I, I worked at the In-N-Out car, car wash. I sounded like I was from Wisconsin. You um, did car I, wash I, uh, the the In-N-Out car wash in Charleston, South Carolina. Um, and, and I was, you know, I, I, I sold polished wax and I pumped gas and, um, uh, and I got a little bit of soul from working at the What was your wash. favorite non-acting job? My fa well, you know, I, it was a very interesting, I can tell you my least favorite was, I, I picked tomatoes one summer, a bunch of friends of uh, mine and I, we, uh, we got hired by a coach that we had in high school and we were, we were picking tomatoes in the hot South Carolina sun all summer. I also worked at a record store um, that was across the street from a Krispy Kreme donut shop. Uh, and you worked also in a bank vault. I worked in a bank vault, counting change. Um, counting change? Yeah, yeah. They didn't have a... Uh, no, they had a, the machine, but all the vending companies would bring their, you know, bring their coins in. So mm -hmm. I got very intimate with a bunch of quarters, oh. dimes, nickels, and pennies. So. <laughs> Sitting there counting your checks. Free checking. <laughs> you know, in, in college, you sort of, you know, the free checking uh, it counted for a lot. Yeah. It still does. So. Tell us about your movie role, playing a super agent. Well, uh, You I, model it after anybody? Everybody, yeah. yeah. Every agent I know is uh, represented in some small or not so small way in this. But I had worked with this director, a wonderful French-Canadian director named Denis Arcon, and he wrote this, uh, he said, eight or nine years ago, he said, why do I know all the intimate details of Cindy Crawford's life? I mean, mm -hmm. and she's sort of become part of my, you know, inner circle, but it's because we've, we've become accustomed to having, you know, Entertainment Tonight, and, sure. and you know, all these, these, these programs bring all these intimate details of these people's lives. So he wrote this, this movie that's all seen through the eyes of the media about this meteoric rise and meteoric fall of this international supermodel. Wow. And and I'm the guy who plucks her from, you know, sort of small, small town Canadian obscurity to, uh, to, to you know, international It's superstar. almost done in the form of a documentary, isn't exactly. it, Exactly. Well, there is, there are actual clips, uh, there's a documentary filmmaker making a movie of her life, and mm -hmm. some, of the, some of the clips in the movie are representative mm. of his... Shall we take a look at... Sure, uh, why not? Uh, Absolutely. Are, and here you are now, uh, you don't think that your client should do any nudity. Right. How and, rare is that unless for an it's, agent? Unless it's, <laughs> unless it's timed particularly well, you yeah. know, it's all about... Here's a scene from Stardom. <laughs> Got that uh, feel, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> But it's not a documentary. It's not a documentary, but that's a, that's a representative clip from this mm -hmm. one uh, part of the film where a, where a guy is following her around and, and, uh, and taking documentary shots of mm -hmm. her life and mm -hmm. of the people that she works with. And how are things on the Dharma and Greg Very, set? very well. Yeah, you guys having a good year, huh? Well, we, we are having a very good year. 
you know, our writers, we have, we have some of the best writers on TV. We're very, very happy with, uh, you know, all the work that they're doing. And, you know, we're not very unhappy to be following you. I mean, not well, to be a complete shill, but, you know, the man... <laughs> no, Tuesday the man, night is a good night. It yeah. is a good night. Good it night is a good night. ABC. And, you know, I think that you should... I, I don't know why, but, uh, I mean, why you didn't consider it, but, I, you know, I think you should be running for president this year. <laughs> A million dollars in every pot. Yeah, right. Uh, I think Thomas go. really wants to co-host next. Yeah, next no. Tell, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Get, but check that out, will you? Doing fine. <laughs> All right, fine. Uh, Greg and uh, Donna and Greg, Tuesdays at 9. And don't forget, Stardom in the theaters right now. Huh? Always my mother calls it Greg and Donna. Exactly. <laughs> nice to see you. Thanks, Very nice to meet you. All right, Char, coming up next. Supernatural Week continues. Still ahead on live, actor Andrew McCarthy. Well, our next guest says we all can learn to use our sixth sense, and she tells us how in her new book called, actually it's a, a soft cover version of a big bestseller from last year, Questions from Earth and Answers from Heaven. Here's uh, the renowned in, uh, psychic intuitive Shar Margolis. Hi. Nice to see you, darling. Thank you. Now, Shar, we you. have... Char has read me for 20 years now, but right. let's work on young uh, okay. Kelly okay. over here. Okay, I was picking up someone deceased with an E initial. Yes. And in her name, is there an L or a D in it? Uh, if you spell it out. Or is there an M or N in it? Um, but it starts with E, right? Yes. It's not an Eve or Eva or no. Esther or something yes. like this. Is it Esther? Yes. yes. I knew it was an E female. Is this your grandma? Yes. Yes. Okay. Her spirit yes. is with you. And she wants you to know that she watches over you. She watches over... I heard you say earlier that you're married and you have a husband and a son. So mm -hmm. I, she watches over your son. And she's also shown me another baby. And I, I don't... <laughs> and, and she's saying that she's going to watch over you when this new baby comes. And I, 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 it's soon. It's, it's not far away. Excuse You're not pregnant me, uh, yet, are, are you? Are you expecting? Well, <laughs> I, am I? <laughs> Is that a yes? Uh -oh. I haven't told my boss yet. <laughs> are you kidding me? Sister-in-law doesn't know yet. Can I just say something? Your grandma yeah. is like a tell-it-all. I mean, she's not. She's being a gossip right now. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> no, but but she she wasn't like that in real life. No, she no. was a real sweet kind. I'm just joking, you guys. No, no I know. Um, she's uh, anyway. She's she's showing me this uh, healthy baby, and all is well. And and she's also showing me another home that you're going to be going to either a second home are you guys talking about going to having a second home or another home we've talked about there's maybe a, a bigger there's, home to accommodate the baby well no. i don't know i think a second home right to, to yeah. vacation to is oh, that yes. what you're okay. thinking yes of? you should do this this is going to be great for you and but you know thank god touch wood okay i feel really good about yeah touch wood okay <laughs> <laughs> i feel really good about the child and everything oh, oh, and i hope i didn't ruin your contract no that's Okay. You don't know. You didn't know it. Okay. No, there were, okay. Those writers were just waiting for me to get. Kelly okay. Ripa okay. Is pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> on the show. You heard it here first. The from the audience up here. I'm right back in a moment. Tomorrow on Live, we'll welcome back the cast of Growing Pains for a Growing Pains reunion. And Claudia Cohen takes us to the GQ Men of the Year Awards. Psychic Char continues now with folks from our audience. Okay, um, just say yes or no, and if they're living or deceased. I communicate through thought, and I don't always know if they're living or deceased. Is there an A or M initial living? An A. A, a female? Female. The, in her name, is there an N in it? Or yes. Or an A-N? Yes. Like Anne or Anna or an Annette, something like this? Shall I tell you, Angela? Angela. We said that together. <laughs> is this your daughter or family? Family, sister. Sister? Okay. I, are you planning to see her soon? I hope so. I, is she away from you? Not that far. Okay, no. I, I'm seeing you guys together. Would someone be driving for the holiday or near the holiday? All I, all, I'm seeing that you need to be careful with driving. And also, is there somebody who's a John or J, a, a J or G initial? Mm -hmm. Anyone deceased or living? Well, could be deceased, yes. Which, a J? A J. A male? Yes. Is it J-O? 
J -O. John or John. Joe? John. John. Is this your father, your grandfather? Who is it? Cousin. This? Your cousin. Okay. I, his spirit's with you. He wants you to, t did he die young or m he didn't grow old? Did he not mm. grow old? Like, was he just like 50 or 60? No. He was old? He was old. Okay. He's with someone younger. Do you know who this is? There's someone else deceased with him who's younger. I can only tell you that um, uh, he, he wants people to know he's okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sean. My pleasure. Thank you. Okay. Hi, hi Daryl. Okay, uh, just say yes or no to me, okay? I need to know, is there anyone who's um, uh, uh, William or Stephen connected to you? Which name? Stephen. Stephen, is this family to you? Yes. Who is it, your father, your brother? My brother. Is he living or deceased? He's living. He's living, okay. Um, has he had any problem? Did he hurt his legs or his back? Oh, no. Okay, I, I'm not allowed... To, well, I'm not sure what I'm getting, but he needs to be careful. Does he, does he lift heavy things or does, do you tell him to be careful of lifting things or hurting his back. They're telling me Stephen has to be careful of hurting himself. And are you or he thinks... Stephen Jr., my nephew. Does he lift heavy... Th be careful of the football. back. He plays football. He, if it gets, if it gets back, if he hurts it, he's got to stay on top of it. And, and, uh, and, and pamper it, or he's going to have big problems. And there's also a question about career. Was this with you or with him? About lifting? No, career. Are you thinking of doing something new with career? Yes. I see a new career for you. They're making me go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's it for Thank Star, you. Huh? Okay. The name of the book Thank is you. Questions from Earth, Thank Answers you. from uh, Heaven. Thank you. Thank you. The Psychic, thank you, thank you very, very thank much. Thank you. Got back with Andrew McCarthy. Thank you. Tomorrow on Live, Cheryl Ladd co-hosts with Regis. You've seen our next guest many, many times with Molly Ringwald, Robert Downey Jr., Rob Lowe. Now he, he stars as Robert Kennedy in a new CBS miniseries called uh, Jackie Bouvier, Kennedy Onassis. Here's Andrew McCarthy. <laughs> there, yeah. Man, the things they make you do on morning TV. <laughs> he, he's a big boy, he's isn't he? He's a big boy. Yeah. My God, he came in the green room. He was... And he just picked you up like that and said, you're coming with me. He picked me up and brought me out, yeah. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. They're going crazy backstage. I, going, what is she saying out I there? I know, can you believe I can't believe it. I said my, my dad is in his office right now just dropping dead that yeah. I've announced uh, this nice. and I haven't told the rest of the family and now everyone knows. And did she give you a little reading? Did you have time for that or did you want one, Andrew? Andrew McCarthy. You know, I met somebody once with a J in their name. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, yeah. No, she was really accurate with well, me, though. I mean, regular, nobody yes. knows anything, yeah. you know. So how you doing, big guy? I'm doing good, thanks. Now, the last time you were here, you were, you know, single man all about town, and now you come back to us. Married? Yeah, with the old ball and chain. Yeah. <laughs> Married for a year now, huh? Yeah, a little more than a year. Oh, yeah. congratulations. Thank you, yeah. Now, how did you meet your, your lady? I met my wife in college, actually 20 years ago. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Then you went separate ways? We were together for a while, then went separate ways, and uh -huh. then sort of came back. And Well, how did the reunion take place? <laughs> It took place because I ran into someone who said, I saw um, Carol, and I saw her with her boyfriend. They looked really happy together. And you heard that little pain go on in your heart. Huh? What do you mean? And happy? what do you mean? And so it really bothered me for about a week, and then I sort of called up the phone and said, so, are you in love with this guy? And, um, can we have coffee? So I'm a homewrecker, too. So I'm a homewrecker. Oh, good yeah, for you. Sure. <laughs> well, um, thanks. Well, can we talk so about something else, Regis? <laughs> 20 years, but you finally came to your senses. Yeah, I didn't want to rush into it, yeah. Well... Congratulations. So I heard you were at the Yankees game. I was at the Yankees game. One My of them. husband was there, too. It was oh, a good yeah? World Series. Wasn't oh, it was great. very exciting it was games. Great. Yeah. Real close, tight games. Good guys won. It's okay. You know what my husband did? He went to... Uh, he went to... He got on the field after the game and dug up the grass from Shea Stadium and planted it in our backyard. It's got a big line down the middle of our backyard. Is he a Yankee fan or a Mets fan? He's a Yankee fan. He's psychotic. So... <laughs> This applies to you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. You no, were no, saying. No, carry you. on. About you. great. <laughs> I tell you what, we're going to take a break. And when okay. we come back, we're going to hear about the role he's playing, Bobby Kennedy. We'll be right back in a moment. 
Friday on Live, Claudia Cohen talks with Julia Roberts and Benjamin Bratt. The role coming up here is Bobby Kennedy in the uh, Jackie uh, miniseries that starts over on the CBS when? Sunday night? Sunday night, yeah. Sunday night, yeah. And incidentally, just heard about this role, just was cast for the role the weekend before they started shooting. Yeah, they called me up Friday, said, can you be here to shoot Monday? Wow. Boy, yeah. boy. How do you prepare to play Kennedy? I mean, it's a Kennedy. Well, in that case, I just got on the plane. <laughs> um, <laughs> really? Um, you know, you just watch um, the videos and um, read the books and just start playing catch up and mm -hmm. try and get the accent down and start talking. Did you have like a coach to help you with the yeah, accent? Yeah, a dialect coach mm -hmm. to help me with the accent. A lot yeah. of talk about a romance between a possible romance between Jackie and Bobby. Does the miniseries go into that area? We don't go into it directly, but um, I sort of made my own decision about that. I thought Joanne, who plays um, Jackie Kennedy, was kind of cute. So I decided, well, maybe they did. <laughs> <laughs> Joanne w Wally. Joanne huh? Wally. Yeah. yeah. Well, in this particular scene, Jackie is worried about uh, Bobby Kennedy going to California. Here's a clip. So to handle that accent pretty well. That was I thought great. I sounded like Walter Brennan right there. <laughs> no, no, that was not really at all. great. Really great. Anyway, good luck with this. It's uh, on Sunday and Wednesday night and next week on CBS. Jackie Bouvier, Kennedy Onassis. Thanks, Andrew. Good luck to you. We'll be right back in a moment. If you'd like to submit your amazing kid or enter our emergency makeover contest, go to www.liveregis.com. Live will return in a moment. Let's put that art mode tape away till next Halloween. <laughs> Kelly, thank you very much. Please take care of yourself. Dr. Seuss Trivia is a fun game of questions and pictures from Dr. Seuss's books. It's Seussy and fun for everyone. Dr. Seuss Trivia, the game that's challenging for kids and adults from University Games. Some members of our studio audience will receive... Is your air freshener around when unpleasant odors occur? Better get Touch of Scent. It's just a touch away. So it's where you need it, when you need it. Touch of Scent. Touch it. Grab some fun time for yourself. Fashion forward watches with Disney personality. Look for them in department and superstores everywhere.